This is today's mission. We've got three potatoes and I want to plant them. I also have this container that is looking for a new home. So I think I'm going to plant those three potatoes into this container. But first we need to move it. Alright, so let's start off by talking about how potatoes grow. Over here I've got my three seed potatoes and I'm just going to show you how potatoes grow and hopefully it might make the process a little bit easier to understand. So you start off with your seed potato, which is the potato that you are planting, essentially the seed. And they normally have these little eyes on them. Once these eyes sprout, they create a stem and these sprouts will push up until they break the surface of the earth and from there they create a actual stem. Off of that stem you will get tubers forming. Those tubers are then your potatoes that you're going to eat. So when we plant our seed potatoes you would normally either have them sprouting or chitting and then you would plant them and these um, sprouts will then grow vertically and they will then become your actual plant, the stem and its leaves. I have this container over here that needs to be planted out and I fortunately have these three potatoes. So the plan is because this container is already full to about a third. I'm just going to loosen up the soil and plant out these three potatoes. Right, I've just come along and loosened up the soil slightly just to see what consistency we got because potatoes in general they prefer a well-draining, loose soil to grow in. And it is something to keep in mind when you are growing um, potatoes in containers, is that you've got to take into account their size. Right, so as you can see, I've planted out all three potatoes. Um, Yes, the sprouts do stick out of the ground here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. There are a couple that are covered and we'll see where it takes us. Um, the plan now is just to leave it and keep it well watered. In general, potatoes like moist soil, but not to be waterlogged. And you don't want to waterlog them anyway, because then you run the risk of getting root rot. Alright, so we've planted out our potatoes into this container. And as you can see, I've left a significant gap between the rim of the container and the soil level and the reason for that is because in our house as the potatoes grow we heal them let me show you what i mean over here we've got the potatoes we planted not too long ago if you are interested in watching that video i will put a tag up for you to go and check that out um, for these particular potatoes they've had about two to three weeks to grow and now I'm going to come through and I'm going to backfill this container using a mix of compost and potting soil. Something that is light and airy but is full of nutrients in order to encourage some extra potato growth. So the theory is along this stem there will develop tubers which essentially will be potatoes that we will hopefully get to eat at a later stage. So I'm going to bring the soil level up, covering the stems as well as the leaves, and then just leaving what is above there protruding. And we're going to see if this will hopefully generate us a few more potatoes this season.
I must say this makes me feel incredibly guilty piling up sand on top of these plants. It just goes against what I know. But at the same time, I know this is what I need to do. So my intention with these potatoes is to come back and give them a second healing but I first want to wait and see if they've settled and then I haven't necessarily killed them and then I will come back and do a second heal on these potatoes and then I will leave them until they either die completely back and are ready to harvest or until they've had their flowers so I will be killing the potatoes we planted out today at a later stage and my intention with them is also to heal them twice and I have planted my plants with a bit of a gap between them staggering my plantings so that I don't necessarily have kilos and kilos of potatoes coming in that I don't know how to deal with I'm not necessarily expecting to grow kilos and kilos of potatoes but I'm hoping to have at least a significant harvest out of each of these containers Hey guys, and just like that, it brings us to the end of today's video, and I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me today as I planted out my potatoes and healed my first crop. Hopefully, we'll get a significant harvest out of them. Come back and follow along on that journey, and if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can be tuned in for other adventures on our homestead. Have a fantastic weekend, guys. Bye.